Hi guys, I'm at Maylie's studio. Maylie is walking around. So just quickly, Hi. I brought Maylie a wig that I had that I just had for fun. It is uh, Outre? 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 Yeah, somewhere that. Right there. And it is natural yaki 18 inch in color DR425. Uh, so that's it. So we decided to throw it on Maylie because it just looks good on her. She's got her own hair coming out in the front. and. She just looks amazing in anything. So. Oh my god, just like it. <laughs> so. so I just added, but we, did we add, talk about that there is a 400 Fahrenheit? No, they know that. They know all that they stuff. Know they know all this stuff. We are here for Jet About, John Renault Jet About, and this is in, so this is one you've seen me do a footage on before. This is in 24BT18. I don't remember what that color is called. But we're going to, I think, maybe do a two step cut on yeah. this. We're going to do. Sort of make it into kind of a bob. You could do a slight and concave bob, not much. Well, wait, I'll let you do what you think. Like, yeah. I'll sort of show you tucking it up, the idea, and then mm. you do it shaped to what you think will work yeah. best with the length. And then we're going to try to make it look a little more like Meg Ryan in uh, City of Angels. See? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. You have five. So, I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to put this wig on. I've got my wig grip on. I, I may have to hold it at the temples. I'm going to wear it while Maylie cuts it. And, uh, So we may do, is this rolling? Yes it is. Um, Here we are. So I'm going to stop and start a little bit because I'm only allowed 15 minutes and if it goes on long enough then maybe I'll do two parts. So just making sure my temple tabs are where they should be and I've got four fingers up to there. And, and I'm going to analyze this hair <laughs> wig. And what we can see is this hair piece has a lot of the molding for two different looks, number one, the Meg Ryan, as well as having a bob. So what I'm doing is at this moment is giving it more of the shape at the back. Do you want to sort of hold it the way you want it? Yeah, I can, I can bring it around. Just with that. So at the back here, we really do want to make sure that we're not too short, but ideally we're going to go around this way with the actual hair piece shape. So how do you think it'll be? My only concern is I guess the shorter it goes is if it'll Bounce. show through to the wig cap too much. Always go a little bit longer. I'm definitely yeah. going to just take a good inch and a half off and yeah. the inch and a half will just pop it. So um, and then what we'll do is have that look and then I'm going to go in and texturize and show you how I point cut which is a little different than most hairdressers. Okay. Which is what works great for the dry hair, is it? Yes. Because you cut, uh, Mayla cuts my hair dry, so that lends really, really right. well for her being able to do wigs. I do like to cut dry hair, and that is very important because you get to see it. All right. I think your wig's sliding off. <laughs> if it falls off, everybody, don't worry. She'll just keep going. Oh, watch this. I'll just keep it up. Because I didn't put the front here. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. That's still gorgeous no matter what you do. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Compliments are good. Okay, so here we are. Do you want me to turn it sideways? Yes, I'm going to turn you around. And uh, this way. I use my fingers. I don't brush the wigs. I use my fingers to cut, which I find is a... Uh, more suitable, especially with the curly hair, because we don't want to, you know, destroy the natural kink that the wig has. Should we turn so people can see what you're yeah. doing? Then it'll be sure. So here we go. So I got my line. And now I'm gonna cut it. So just gently. Can you tell if it's showing on the camera? Oh yeah, we're showing. Let's bring it down a little bit. Go through it. That's quite long in the back. Yes, it is. It is. So you see how much that just bounced up with taking that little bit off. That's about the length I want to show off a nice bob. I just wish this wig had more length at the sides. 
Yeah, because it, it's, it's kind of like a Rod right Stewart it is. Cut. I mean, yeah, I see it. It's almost like a mullet. And I'm yeah. like, ah, the mullet. We have to get rid of that mullet. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see if we can make it work for sort of a mid length. And then I would think hopefully it could work well for the mid grind. We're going shorter, folks. We're going to take it about the shoulder. <laughs> Here, you want to do a couple cuts first? Pack that off. It's just too short at the ears, at the sides, for for anything longer at the back to really look too much like a, a thing. So this, is, yeah, this will be uh, two inches, a good two inches off in total. The neck too just helps, Does a, little, helps a little bit with uh, not tangling, you know, like against your clothes and moving your head around. That's just my guess. doing is right now we just we cut that off that's like your bob from the back and we're gonna see big yeah <laughs> yeah oh that's oh, but that's cute. see it looks better than that rod stewart 80s fuck yeah kind of and just remember mullet. this doesn't necessarily look the best on me so try to imagine Stop, that's you, look you look good you look cute <laughs> This is two process. We're just showing you like if your wig is too long and you want to have it shaped to your face, well, then we're going to look up to you. I'm making just, you laugh. I mean, next to you, standing all sexy behind oh, me, you and I've got Shirley Temple going on. God, I should just be here all day with you. I feel so good. Um, God. Oh, wait, were you saying more? <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do is, and, and what I can do is like take some bulk out of here as well, but. Oh, please do. I, I need to do that and, and here. So, and then the Meg, the Meg Ryan look, because we are eventually going to go there. The Meg Ryan's more full here, and it's kind of like a triangle, the way she takes this out. So that's what we're going to do next. But yeah. I, want, I want to take some bulk out now, because some people don't like the fullness in their wig, and some people do. I mean, I do know ladies that like this wig. Everyone's different. You know, I was driving here, and I was thinking, there are a lot of hairstyles that look rather dated, but right. I think there's someone for every style. Correct. Right? And someone who just suits it, even though it would look dated on so many other people, some people it's just, nope, that's them. That's their look and that looks good on them. Mm -hmm. Although it can often use a bit of tweaking <laughs> mm -hmm. sometimes. But, yeah, like someone, not to knock this because I feel silly in it, I think would look great on some people. You don't look silly. Well, I'm just not used to seeing myself. So here we are, going in, and doing some of my awesome cuts. Is that the finger? What is yes. That? This is like point cutting. Uh, I learned this from many different styles, traveling the world. Uh, Tony and Guy has used this, Bada Sassoon. <laughs> so many different hairdressers, independent hairdressers that are known. And then there's my touch with it. I've been hairdressing since I was 15 years of age, fully qualified at 19, and traveling the world and meeting up with different people, you tend to find your own style and not be afraid of hair. Well, it's an art. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Hang on, we slipped. <laughs> yeah, we get carried away as yes, hairdressers. You forget. Okay, so I'm just going in. It looks like a lot of hair coming out, but. Stop them for a um, or hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna just show you. How I'm gonna bring it up. So, and we're gonna define the curl again. We'll dampen yes. it. And yes. Get the fuzz out. Yeah. And then I'm also doing the point cutting. So this isn't. Te technically, it's not really um making it too thin. Just giving it a point cut. 
Get rid of that bulk. You do that, and I'm just gonna hide my chin. Oh, do my neck. <laughs> so you can see that this is going to be not so heavy. So just pause it. So we still have, we've still got some earmuffs happening. So we want to get rid of that. <laughs> That's what makes my butt look smaller. Oh my. Bigger hair. You are funny. So if someone had this at home and they wanted to do something for themselves, and they just wanted to thin it, would you suggest like thinning shears yeah, and sort of this going is what halfway I do. up? When you do recommend, this is what I do. I go in with the wig and I just see it. Like you can see this side connected to that side. We'll just take this all out. Yeah, I tucked it behind my ear. So you'll see this side. See how the heaviness. And here. It's lighter. It's hard to tell we've got different lighting on both sides. Um, one second, actually. Is that better? Ooh. I think so. That's better, right? Um, so I didn't think to bring any. To find. I did think, and then I forgot. So Maylie has got one of her own product for helping to define the curls here. One of her studio but products. But it's a cream. That's, uh, so water it soluble. It smells like bananas, is that right? Yes. <laughs> Banana this. head. All right, because I don't want to take too much off this area for the next haircut, but yeah. you can see, you can feel like that side compared to this side, the width difference. Oh yeah. So I just went in. I wouldn't mind it even shorter, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can get the idea. Like you could go short like that. We can always and it depends shorter. on the... We can't go longer, especially with hair pieces. Yeah. Like, that's one thing I'd rather go slowly, slowly, because it's not growing back. Yeah, and just sort of seal on the way. I like it tucked behind the ear makes a difference. I'm always tucking it behind my ear. People ask me why I always tuck it behind my ear. I just do. Here we go. And I don't even like my ears. That's a weird thing. Really? Oh, God. No. Stick out. <sighs> there we go. I have two children that were born with ears that stick out. I'm like, did I have that? Because I have tiny ears. <laughs> Thank God we have hair. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the hair to cover mine up. Yeah. So, as you can see, we want to go shorter. We can start just taking this in. Yeah, like just from like a modern edgy yeah. kind of thing, like shorter in the back, leave it longer here, and then wedge up in the back. And then we just take it in. This is when we go and have fun. So, I'm just lifting it up. Yeah, I like that. And yeah, like send me down the runway. <laughs> you <won't. laughs> But that's the thing, you could... You know, we're sort of going through stages here where this is, you know, if you want a simple, you know, curly hair, just a nice, cut nice style that's not overly stylized or anything. Or See, you we're want to going. Go a bit more edgy. See how we're just taking it out. We're going to make now. We're slowly working it up. Working up to Meg. Yeah. So this is another look. And then you could easily just bring this. I like the two sides, the comparison of the two sides. I actually do hate cuts like this. 